want to make a short movie on Carlson Civil and or takeoff that uh, allows you to triangulate and contour and do data prep or preparation for machine control and guidance. We're going to go up to window here and window this little circle area and take a look at it. And notice that we have a problem here where this contour just got ignored. If we go up to inquiry, do drawing inspector, you can see that the actual contour is 280 but uh, 280 is here and it contoured correctly from this location and it contoured correctly from the rest of its location this contour you can see worked really well which is 282 and 281 over 78 worked real well but uh, this 280 contour didn't work well and let's turn on the tin lines and see if it was used for triangulation purposes Alright, now notice it wasn't. See how the triangles came off the, the 282 contour and went to the 3D polyline here and the, and the contour down below here for 278. So, um, kind of curious why this one was ignored. So, we're going to type in the command layer off and just pick uh, the 2 tenth, the 5 tenth of the foot contours and hit uh, the 10 lines and we're going to come up here and if we pick on it okay for a person that's experienced doing data prep it's very obvious what the problem is we have a barrier line here uh, coming in we have a uh, curb line coming in here 3d polyline and uh, here let's uh, use the point ID command and just pick endpoint and that you can see that's 280 and that's uh, 280 and of course that would be the same 280 but when I grab here notice that its endpoint is over here so the whole reason why this tin line was or contour was ignored and not triangulated too was there was no vertice right here well we have a command um, in polyline utilities called add intersection points and I'm going to pick this guy and pick on here and pick this guy and notice it said added one point to the polyline if I pick on it you can see it grabbed a, a vertice right there if I type ID and snap to it you can see it is 280 so we have the same elevation at that same location uh, a little check just to make sure it has the same location is you can just snap to it like that and force it to be the same elevation of the barrier line at this location. Okay, at this point, we'll leave the circle there. Let's go ahead and triangulate and contour this again. So I've created it at layer state uh, for just making surfaces, which I'll restore those layers. And hit escape. And now we're going to just come up and pick triangulate and contour, which is the same as typing TRI. And right now it's going to create uh, a. Let's create uh, this tin file and you notice we're going to do two tenths of a foot contour and one, f one foot. Overwrite the tin file, yes. And predefined boundaries, yes. And it didn't delete the... Uh, uh, that's because I started this drawing with a new name. So I'm just going to pick those two and scroll down and make sure that tribe base is gone. Those are the There we go. There's the three layers. I pick OK. Deletes them. Now, let's just type in TRI. Hit Return. And use predefined boundaries, you bet. And we just window the data. And we're going to window up here. And it looks like it's certainly triangulated properly. Let's freeze the tin and you can see there's the circle and you can see that the tin line uh, there's the uh, right there there's the contour and you can see that it contoured correctly in that location so um, that is some of the iterations required 
when you're fixing tin files um, and comparing to existing or proposed contours that were given to you that you have to duplicate when you do your data prep for machine control and guidance. Thank you, and this movie is now concluded for Carlson Software module Carlson Civil or Carlson Takeoff to do data prep for machine control and guidance.